going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here at Kentucky with Jake. Jake, how are you doing, man? Doing awesome. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Now, this is our third visit to Kentucky, right? We've done basketball, we've done football. We noticed that there's like a wood theme across like all facilities. What are you guys doing with wood here? We try to do something similar across all our facilities. Here we have bourbon barrels. These are old recycled bourbon barrels. And you'll see that here. You'll see it outside as well. We've kind of got that all throughout the facility. Awesome, awesome. And what are we going to see here today? Because I know this facility is pretty expansive. And where are we right now? So right now, this is the main lobby. Uh, we have the coaches offices on this floor. We got a locker room, training room, nutrition room. Go upstairs, we got like some suites and lounges and stuff like that. And then downstairs, we got batting cages and meeting room. And if you can think of something, we probably got it here in this facility. Awesome. And not only is the wood unique in this area, what are we seeing across the way here? Yeah, so we have this uh, touchscreen TV that's got all these different cool things on it. Um, it's kind of made for whenever people come in that they learn about Kentucky baseball. So they can design their own uniform. You can watch videos, pregame videos that we show on the video board. We have these bases right here. When people donate and they do different things, they can put their names on these bases. Each one of these bases represents a certain amount of money. Uh, some of our donors, you know, ask to be stay private and some of them ask to put their name on them. All right, Jake, uh, I think A.J. Reed is important. He is. So A.J. Reed was a national player of the year here. Uh, they call it the Golden Spice Award. You see the golden cleats right there. He won that in 2014. He was our Friday night ace, so he was our best pitcher. He was also our cleanup hitter and had more than 20 home runs. So not been many guys that have done that over the years. For sure, for sure. What other uh, trophies, unique items that are you know, kind of cased in this trophy case. One thing that we have the most of in here is probably our gold gloves. Um, we've always had great defensive teams here. Uh, we actually had the best shortstop in the country last year. His name is Ryan Ritter. He just got another gold glove. So when you kind of think about Kentucky baseball, that's, you know, you look at the trophy case. So gold glove winners, there's a lot of good defensive players that have played here. All right, Jake, this is like probably the, the biggest player lounge I've seen for a baseball program. What do the guys do in here? Well, I always catch people in here doing homework. I want to say that first. I do always catch people in here doing homework. They play a lot of ping pong, play a lot of video games, as you can imagine college kids do. And then college kids' favorite thing to do is eat. We have a big nutrition center here, like you see, and we always have pre and post game meals. We even get them the food for practice. And so we always got a stock refrigerator, a bunch of food, and guys are just always hanging around. I see the word of family in large text over there. Describe the family atmosphere here at Kentucky Baseball. So when Coach Benz got here, his number one word that says all time is family. Whenever we recruit players, we'll talk to their parents as much as we talk to the kids. You know, we feel like that's a big thing. We invite brothers and sisters and anybody that wants to come on visits. You know, we want to meet their family because usually the family give you a good indicator of how the kid is. So that's part of it. But then, you know, we welcome them in our family. You know, our families are here all the time. Coach Minge's wife is here all the time, you know, hosts Bible studies, different things for, our, you know, for our current players' families on Sundays. His son is around all the time. When you think of family, you just think about everybody kind of being together, and we do that a lot. These are all the guys that have gotten drafted, free agent deals or anything to play professionally. You can see we're about to have to start a third column overall. We're going to run out of room over here. <laughs> Probably after this year, we're gonna have a lot of guys that play professionally. Now, one of the newest updates you guys have done is this graffiti wall. Shout out to True Boot Customs. Give me some of the attributes that are on this wall. You'll see the same word again that we've talked about family. Family's on there, right? That's a big part of it. One thing that's really important to us here at the University of Kentucky is that we are the University of Kentucky. And so right in the middle, we have this outline, the state of Kentucky. Something we say all the time is like, hashtag we are UK, because we try to support everybody. You know, we, we love going to softball games, soccer. We're all right here in the same complex. We think of our of our hitters, kind of their mantra, we're trying to hit big blue bombs. That's what we call home runs, right? And then our pitchers, you know, are known as the tip of the spear. So we say that all the time, like you're, you're on the mound, you're the one in control of the game. All right, Jake, again, this is a spacious, spacious area man do guys spend a lot of time here in the locker room they do spend a lot of time in the locker room everyone has their own chair as you can see and they got their you know the name the numbers on them we did that on purpose because we wanted guys to be comfortable as coaches and staff we actually stay out of here a lot try to let it be their space let's actually go to one of the individual lockers and kind of just see the functionality of them 
So this is one right here, this is Darren Williams. So, you know, with the COVID year and all those things that happened with all of that, he's actually in his seventh year of college. So we, get, we all call him Dr. Williams, call him old man, anything you can think of. He's been here for so long. You can see how clean and organized all of his stuff is. Everyone has their own lock code and has, a, has their own charger in there, like their own outlet. Um, you know, most of them do the gloves and hats and their towel over here. A bunch of hangers. There's actually vents in the bottom, as you can see, for their cleats or for their shoes or anything like that. Keep them smelling good. All right, Jake, I know we're in the equipment room now. How many hats do you guys have? <laughs> We have four that we use during like the real season. So we'll have a camo one. We have the American flag one, which is usually just kind of a special occasion one. Uh, we have the black one with the blue bill. Of course, we got the solid blue. This year was kind of unique. In the fall, we had the gray and the guys liked it so much and all the fans liked it. So we've worn that some this year. <laughs> so now we have five. What is the fan base's favorite, I guess, uniform combination? The creams for sure, uh, they like the creams and then a lot of them seem to like the white as well. The all white look with the blue hat and just like I said, it's the classic, if you think baseball, like Brooklyn Dodgers thing back in the day, that's what it looks like. Right, is that the same uh, favorite for the players as well? It is the same favorite for the players. The players are big on the cream. Some of the guys really like our new black uniforms too though and they like wearing the black uniforms and the black hats too. We went with the script Kentucky on it as you can see, which is a little bit different of a look. And you know, something that's unique to all of them, like we talked about is instead of a nameplate, we put the state of Kentucky on there. It's like we talked about playing for, playing for the state of Kentucky. We have tons of shoes and tons of cleats. Uh, it's kind of crazy how many we have. A lot of guys just feel like they like wearing the trouts. Seems to be a lot of guys wearing the trouts this year. Even though we have all of these, some of our guys do have custom cleats. You know, it's the NIL world. Some of them have NIL deals. You know, our catcher actually has uh, like six, seven pair of custom cleats from a guy who does a bunch of ones for the Titans. And so he's got some really cool cleats. Um, we got another pitcher that's got, you know, the reverse Nike dunks with spikes on the bottom. <laughs> and that's what he pitches in. In here are what we call our tunnels. So we have a pitching lab side and then we have a hitting side. Uh, when the weather's good, obviously the pitchers stay outside most of the time. And so we actually have nine different combinations of cages that we can set up in here. You know, over here on the pitching lab side, we'll set up like our edgertronic cameras and our track man and do all this stuff, put it on TV. You know, whenever they're out of here and our hitters are in here, we'll have six, seven different hack attacks, pitching machines set up with hit tracks, portable track man. You know, if you kind of name it, we have it. Our guys have key cards, which give them access to the facility. And, you know, usually if I'm up here 9, 10 o'clock at night, I can almost always hear hitters that are down here hitting. So, you know, we try to give our guys a lot of freedom to come up here and work on the craft. All right, Jake, uh, past teams that we featured on the Royal Key series, they, they use this room for different reasons, right? Some watch movies in here, some get chewed out in here. What do you guys use this for? We actually call it our classroom. That's something that comes from Coach Minge and it's one of my favorite areas that we have in the whole facility because we spend a lot of time teaching in here. Part of my title is Director of Technology, so we have um, a lot of scouting services and different videos and stuff like that. So we have one that I'll show you here in a minute and it actually has four different angles. We have six cameras that are out on the field every time we play. And so then we have another one that is really more for scouting the other teams. And so guys will come in here and watch both of those. Um, you know, if the guy's hitting in our cages right now, we leave six iPads in there. And so they're in there watching iPads and drawing on it and looking at their swings and making sure everything's right. And they'll even come in here a lot of times with the coaches and the coaches will put the connector, put it on the projector screen, and draw pictures, compare them to bid leaguers and show what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. I heard some unique things about the stadium. There's like a home advantage you guys have in that center field area. If you hit a ball good down either line and pull it, uh, you can hit a home run. Center field is kind of a graveyard. You hit a ball pretty good out there, you're going to have to hit it really good. And so uh, there's no cheap home runs here. We play a lot of really good defense and have really good pitching staff. And you know, we have hitters that hit a lot of doubles and steal a lot of bases. Describe the atmosphere at, at Proud Park for a home game. So back here, you kind of have your older people usually, but like we have a lot of students that line up in the outfield. So we call the, uh, the right field bullpen, the opposing bullpen, the hook. We always have a lot of students that are lined up. They can actually walk in a circle all the way around. So it's kind of unique to our stadium is there's a three, they call it a 360 degree view. And you could start in one spot and walk a complete lap all the way around and never lose sight of the game. 
Okay, Matt, I'm noticing that media is is very important to just Kentucky athletics in general, right? Yeah, this is a uh, techie's dream world, right? right. I mean, right. they could come in here and it's like Christmas. You know, obviously the baseball games are produced out of here, which you would expect since the field is just right outside the door here. But this is also for all the sports across campus. We have another control room in the football stadium that's a little bit older. This is the newest one. ESPN, when the, the big daddy comes in for football games, they'll send their people over here and work out of this area as well, and instead of not necessarily only the truck. Our people, Brandon Wiki and his team are unbelievable. And it's mostly students that do a lot of the work. And I think it's a great training ground. I mean, if you wanna learn not only what you're shooting through a lens, uh, but how to do all the dirty work that gets you to the point where you're on the lens or shooting behind the lens, you got to learn this. And this is a great place to have the best of the best for students who want to get involved in that. This is kind of multi-purpose. During games, because recruits cannot be in here during games, um, that's an NCAA thing. Coach Mingione's family, the coaches' families and their kids will all come here. My kids will come in here and play. It goes, walks out onto a balcony where they can watch the game from out there with heaters if it's cold. And then also this is where recruits, kind of the quote unquote, the recruiting suite where like, you know, you meet with families and you got space to talk and kind of make that more relaxed as opposed to sitting in a coach's office Part of my job as the SID, the Sports Information Director, is to keep up with all of our records, our fact book, and all of that kind of stuff, what you see on the website in terms of the historical aspects of it. I go through after all the awards season and say, okay, hey, we need, we now have nine gold glove winners. We now have 120 all SEC selections. And then graphics people on the back end will make those and install it so that by the next, by the time the next season starts, these are all updated. You being from Kentucky, the state of Kentucky, you're born and raised. How important is the athletics to like the entire state? Because the entire state roots for Kentucky. There's a lot of families in this state where, you know, it goes down generation to generation to generation. And that's all they were born to do was go to the University of Kentucky. Obviously, people think of basketball because that's the most prominent. And there are a lot of people who say, oh, they've got a great basketball team. I want to go to school there. But then those same people a lot of times fall in love with the place. You see them not leave here after they've been here or they come back, they leave and come back. For me, I'm aware of how cool my job is. When I tell people what I do, who maybe aren't aware of it, like, oh, you work for the University of Kentucky, that's gotta be awesome. You know, like you really get a sense of it more when other people talk to you about right. what your job is or they realize what you do. It's just very, very cool. I feel very privileged to be a part of it.